welcome to my channel please like and subscribe today i'm going to pick five questions for steven to answer this is the second part of the q a questions so i'm excited <laughs> what questions that steven is going to answer mm, pick, pick, pick. okay here we go questions number one this is questions number one. So, what one thing about love that scares you? Same thing with my questions. You know. What one thing about love that scares you? So, right, Blanca. Well, to answer your first question, what is one thing about love that scares me? Well, love is patient. Love is kind. And that's how I find you. Patient kind and graceful. I have no fear. I have no fear whatsoever. So, this is good. Welcome back for the next questions. Uh-huh. I'm going to shake, shake first. Shake, 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 shake. Then questions. Number two. What's the first thing you notice about someone when you fall for them? What the first things you notice about someone when you fall for them? So. Hello there. Welcome to the channel. Hi, Palanga. Second question. What's the first thing you notice when you fall for someone? Well, that can, that can contain many things. Uh, I think if it was what causes me to fall for them or start to fall for them would be their personality and whether I thought they were compatible with me on a personality basis. Um, but I think if I was already had already started to fall for them, it would basically be how their life, uh, their understanding lines up with the Bible. In other words, people, a lot of Christians claim that they believe in the Bible or they believe in God's Word. But they take things and warp things all out of context. They listen to false preachings, these prosperity doctrines, and all manner of crazy things. And uh, that's not what the Word teaches. You know, they take things out of context, out of selfishness, and greed. And it becomes a doctrine of me what's in it for me what do i get out of it instead of a doctrine that glorifies christ and his sacrifice and uh i find that about uh josephina that she truly does believe the word of god and that uh um it's a comfort to me to know that um, as uh, we draw closer together, when we have problems and disagreements, we can turn to the Word of God and there'll be no argument. No, you know, the Word's the Word and uh, it's the final Word. And, it, and it's, uh, I think for her too, it, it's comforting to know that um, well, it's not about my opinion and my understanding. It's about the Word and what it says. So uh, that's kind of what uh, causes me to fall. Let's go to the next question. Ikat-ikat lang. Ikat-ikat lang. Ikat-ikat lang. Uh, gusto ko nang marinig. I want to hear the answer of Steven. I love to hear it. So, here we go. Questions number three, what makes you fall out of love? This is the same thing with my questions. What makes you fall out of love? So. Oh, question three. What makes you fall out of love? Wow. Well, in all reality, I'm a divorcee. So, uh, it's been a long time. And uh, I think, uh, so... It's difficult. Um, that question from my past could be answered that uh, my divorce 
caused me to examine myself and I realized that I never really loved that woman uh, the way Christ wanted me to love, the way the Bible teaches. And so, uh, um, a little bit different. So, to answer the question directly, I would say uh, trust. And uh, that's something you build up over a course of time is trust with honesty and uh, um, being a person of your word. And um, sometimes that can get difficult, but we have to, nobody said any of this was going to be easy. So, uh, but it doesn't mean that you, your love could wane. And I, be, I believe that, that things can be restored, just like anything else can be restored. Restore these old cars. Um, and you do that with love. And so uh, nobody restores anything because they hate doing it, or uh, you have to do it with love. So uh, another thing I think that uh, love is something that needs to be nurtured, and you have to work at it. So... Uh, it's like anything, to keep things in good shape, to keep your old car in good shape, to keep your kitchen in good shape. You have to maintain it. You have to take care of it. You have to clean it. You have to pamper it. When something goes wrong, you have to try to repair it. And uh, so it causes you to um, put effort in. And it's like everything in life. For the... For the fourth questions here, mm, fourth questions. Okay, so here is the questions. Questions number four: Do you believe people can change if they love someone? Do you believe people can change if they love someone? I <laughs> Question four. Do I believe people can change if they love someone? Of course. That's an easy one. Um, but it depends what the motivation for the change is. Uh, but of course, yeah. Uh, you almost have to change some of your habits or some of your uh, quirks. Uh, like if you're the kind of man that leaves your dirty underwear and socks on the floor, you need to change. You need to put them in a dirty clothes hamper. Uh, if, uh, <laughs> uh, you need to clean up after yourself basically. Um, Personally, I don't even like anybody touching my laundry because, uh, well, mainly because I don't want my laundry wrecked. <laughs> so that's my responsibility. But, uh, um, and that, a lot of that comes from uh, being a responsible person with other people's things also. So, uh, some of... Uh, <laughs> so, uh, uh, yeah, I mean, if you two want to have fart contests, go for it. Um, but if it grosses out your spouse, yeah, go in the other room and fart. Let's go to the last question. Last na lang. So we need. Um, Mm, what kind of question is it? Mm -hmm. Questions number five. Do you believe in love and first sight? Again, do you believe in love and first sight? That's... <laughs> uh, question five. Last question. Do I believe in love in first sight? 
Do I believe in love at first sight? That one makes me laugh. Uh, I believe in lust at first sight. Um, no. <laughs> uh, no, I don't believe in true love at first sight. I believe in infatuation. I believe in lust. But uh, I remember one time I was in my 20, early 20s and a, a friend of mine met some girl and they got married that same weekend. And I told him he was insane. <laughs> uh, and actually he was surprised that it lasted three years. Uh, but uh, they had trouble from the get-go. And uh, But no, love at first sight is... Uh, Is a fairy tale a fantasy? There's no such thing. That's lust or uh, infatuation. That's for school children. Um, yeah, it takes nurturing and understanding and getting to know someone. And uh, um, love is something that just doesn't hang around. It doesn't just hang around the atmosphere. Or hang around the house. It's something that has to be built and uh, cared for. One of my favorite, it is my favorite Bible verse, is Philippians 4.8. Uh, and above all things, to think on things that are good and holy and pure and true and just. And that sets your course, your mind, in a good path. So God bless. And there's your five questions, Josephina. And um, on to other things. Like, subscribe.